So you guys might be wondering, why am I wearing a mask? This is Nurses Week. I figured I'd do something different on this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, go back to the previous videos and you'll find out a lot about what this channel is about. Um, and like I said, anything can happen. There are all possibilities that are not off the table. I'm gonna do something totally different. And again, because it's Nurses Week, I figured, hey, this has never been done before. Well, at least I think it's never been done before because I looked in research and it hasn't been done before. If you're tuned into this show today, know your girl K is the first one to do it. Hey, your girl officially is gonna be the one, hopefully officially the one, to actually do makeup with medical supplies. A lot of this is old because in nursing school, we had to purchase these actual box. I bedazzled mines. Yeah, this is from 2010. <laughs> I bedazzled mine. So a lot of these items I still do have. So, so all y'all nursing students, or at least the school I went to, um, had that box. I don't know if you guys still have your box, but I still do. Some of these items in my box are very old. Uh, we may use them for a different brand. So no, I didn't take it from the hospital people, but I have some, I have some in my medical and I paid for these. All right. So, um, yeah, cause we got some old farts in here. Um, some of which when I went to the doctor <laughs> for tooth, they gave to me. So I have some items here. So no, they were not used in any way, shape or form on anybody. Cause that's nasty. I hope I am the first to do this. I mean, nursing week why not i do a challenge and challenge myself in putting makeup by using medical items if you're interested you want to watch this nurse try to do this challenge then stay tuned so you guys i am going to try to use this thermometer right here to actually try to conceal my eyebrows so um this is the first i've never seen it happen i don't know why it would happen but this is just only for um video purpose you guys please don't do any of this stuff i mean if you want to challenge yourself as a nurse or um, any type of healthcare um provider then you can do so but please don't use your own thermometer stuff that you be using at home like i said some of this this stuff is old they've been in my storage for years and i graduated 2012 so yeah i have not been using any of this stuff okay so please don't use this these items. Now you can challenge yourself, you nurses out there, or you medical providers, or doctors, or whatnot out there. If you do makeup, challenge yourself. But just know K started this. So let's see you guys. Wow. Okay. So. Wow. Okay. All right. I did it, y'all. Look. I did it. Oh my gosh. Yo. You guys, I am doing it. With a thermometer. Guys, I am doing it with a thermometer. Now, <laughs> It's a little thick. I should have put a little bit because this is just metal. So there is no absorption. And matter of fact, y'all want to know the crazy thing? This is actually applying better than <laughs> a brush because you're getting all the product. But again, people, disclosure, if anybody is um, non-medical, please. And if you don't know how to put your makeup, please don't be using this, y'all. Please, please, please. This is just for entertainment purposes, you guys. All right? Entertainment purposes. Wow. You guys look. <laughs> I'm going to try to take this Q-tip. And I actually had concealer on it before. And I'm going to try to to clean it up even more. Y'all, just look at y'all. This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> Okay, 
so far so good so i'm gonna try to do the top of my eyebrows and again this is just for entertainment purposes you guys please throughout this video i'm gonna say please do not try this at home okay oh my gosh oh i'm doing it Okay, this one's this one's pretty challenging. As you can see, I messed up a little bit, but hey, whatever. alcohol swab sticks um they usually have alcohol and it comes in certain kits like the picks and the cbc lines this, this usually comes with a package that comes in because we have to do something called sterile technique to um, avoid uh, infection so um yeah so these are dried they're alcohol based so they're drenched in alcohol when you open they're wet um, however, these been dry for years, <laughs> never been used because it was open. So they've been dry. We're going to try to use these to put on actual eyeshadow and let's see how well they work. As you can see, let's see how well they work. Here we go. Wow, it actually is applying very good. I'm gonna use another color to darken my eyes and let's see how that one's gonna work. It's a brown color. So far, so good. So far, so good, you guys. okay so far so good so we'll just continue gonna darken the lids even more so yeah oh shoot all right This is really working, you guys. This is really working. Oh my gosh. You guys, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually better than some brushes. This, this Q-tip with cotton, it is, oh my gosh, better than brush and it's blending amazing. It's blending, it's blending, it's blending, it's blending, it's blending, it's blending, it's blending. It's blending. Um. I'm gonna try to attempt with this <laughs> thermometer. I'm gonna try to attempt with this thermometer and try to do a cut crease. Y'all, wow, I am pushing it. Is Am I not pushing it? I am pushing it, so I'm gonna try, y'all, I'm gonna try.
I'm going to be using this 30 Morphe 35U palette. It's very colorful. Um, you guys, I love Morphe. If I did not express it in my other videos, I truly do love Morphe. And it's very inexpensive. You can get these palettes. Matter of fact, if you're watching this video and you, you, you're you here, I'm raffling off some palettes and I'm going to be giving you some brushes from Morphe, okay? So if you're if you're here and you've, you've been watching this video, then you'll know that I am going to be ra um, raffling off a Morphe palette. And the word that I'm using right now on this little scavenger raffle hunt is Morphe. So if you've been watching this video, so that means you've been watching, you got the word. And if you get it, Put it down in the description box and G page or your IG name and I will DM you um, during this raffle. But you have to donate a dollar. Okay, donate a dollar. There is the PayPal down beneath in the description box. Please, this is going to a cause and it's to th thank a lot of these nurses that are doing what they're doing. This is not because of the, you know, that C thing going on around. But no, this is, I've been, this has been in the works. Just to say thank you. Donate at least a dollar. You don't have to go and donate a whole bunch of money. At least a dollar um, to my PayPal for um, this cause. I'm going to use my faithful Smashbox. You guys, you can get this from any Ulta, Sephora. Go to Smashbox. It's 30 some odd dollars. Again, you don't have to use, you don't have to pay for that. You can get a lot of drugstore. There's different drugstores that do um, have um, primers um, that you can spray. Morphe has them. So you can get those items. You don't have to pay $32. I, I just prefer to use this than even Morphe. And I use other items, okay? Oh, shoot. What? Okay. Y'all. Wow. Precise. I'm using the Q-tip because it's a little bit more precise than the bigger one. So, <laughs> wow, you guys look. So, if you guys now based on this because nursing is research based okay so based on this the fact that i have cotton i'm using q-tip and i'm able to still apply these eyeshadows on my eyelid you guys if you can't afford brushes but you have q-tips at home they work just as well as you can see no lie you're seeing it here it works just as well you can use the q-tip if you don't have the means because i know a lot of people don't especially you know young kids you know I, well i wouldn't recommend this actually let me take that back i wouldn't recommend this for for young kids um uh but if you are just one of those people that are like okay yeah i don't care to be buying any brushes or this that you know and it's okay you actually get a better payoff and what that means is that when you actually go into these eyeshadows and you're picking the product up, it's not staying on the brush or it's not staying on the Q-tip. It's actually going on your eye because a lot it depends on what brushes. So you're able to apply and get a better application when you put on your makeup. So you put on this makeup. You guys, this is freaking amazing. As you can see, wow. With the same palette, I'm going to use this forest green color right here. You can barely see it going to use that forest green color and I'm going to use the bigger q-tip so I can pick up that color I did spray it again so let's see how it's going to apply wow wow you guys <laughs> yeah. why don't you love me love me love Touch me, touch me, touch me no more. Why don't you love me, love me, love me? Touch me, touch me. So 
now I'm gonna take a darker brown on the eye, outer V of my eye and we're gonna darken it and mesh these colors and make it look better, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. Just patting. take a gold in the inner corners of my eyes and mesh all of this together with this q-tip I'm using the pretty much the same one I was using with the green but hopefully it didn't transfer oh powder from MAC to um, blend uh, my eye makeup so that's what we're gonna do and we're still gonna use the q-tips see how well that works Yes, people, yes. I'll make sure it's not taking the product out. So we are blending, y'all. Look at this. This nurse has skills, y'all. I am not going to try to use any medical supply or pens to try to do my my liner. Um, so I'm gonna be using Better Than Sex uh, Tarte Eyeliner. This is freaking amazing from Tarte, okay? Yes, I am gonna try to attempt to do my eyeliner. Walking alone in the streets of empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I just put my eyeliner because yeah my it's a struggle but anyways now I'm gonna do the face you guys that's gonna be challenging itself too so I'm gonna be using this ABD pads and these are pads that we use in like huge wounds um, I'm a cardiac nurse so we use these also on the first incisions um, from bypass surgery um, of the of the heart so yeah this these are old not yet opened but um, I'm gonna try to open it and see if I can use this to put foundation as well as concealer. And I'm gonna also use some gauze. And basically, these are the gauze. Um, I've had some of these when I went to the dentist and they pulled a tooth. So I still had some left over. And again, I'm gonna say these are not used. Never been used on patients. Okay, everything is sanitary. Please do not go and steal stuff from your hospital, all right, from your doctor's office to do this, okay? Please, all right? That is a public announcement. Do not steal stuff from your hospital, 
your doctor's office, okay? All right, you guys, I'm good. I cut it, so I'm gonna spray it <laughs> and see if this is gonna work. All right, it's the moment. Not working too well, but <laughs> we gonna have to, we going this is a challenge, so we gonna have to make it work. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try to use something else because this ain't cutting it. All right, All right I'm gonna try to use some gauze because this right here, uh-uh, this is challenging, you guys. I may just have to use my fingers. Oh my gosh, this is challenging. I'm gonna try to put some more. Uh, this ain't the bit. Oh shoot. Wrong concealer, but that's fine. I'm gonna spray some gauze. That's the best I can get. You guys, you see up close, this is how it's looking. <laughs> it's patchy, but it's a challenge, right? We're pushing the boundaries. So I am right now gonna be using the Fenty Beauty from Rihanna's line, uh, Pro Filter Hydration Longwear Foundation. I love this foundation and it's good for combination skin, also uh, dry skin, very hydrating. Um, so you're able to use this if you wanna use, um, especially if you're wanting to spend some money and some coins, you get what you, you know, you get what you pay for. But you know me, I actually love the, um, the Superstay Maybelline in the combination with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. I really truly like it. All around the globe trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight. We will fly above the sky. We are heroes tonight. powder um, this is the Ben 9 banana powder um, very inexpensive you can go on websites and find them although sometimes um, they have fake ones out there um, but anyways I'm gonna try to set my um, under eye <laughs> with this so let's see y'all not that bad <laughs> Not that bad. And I'm going to take the gauze. Okay. Not bad. Not that bad. Not 
the best, but not that bad. I'm gonna now bronze my face and I'm gonna use Morphe Leader. Um, nice bronzer, very inexpensive. And I'm gonna be using that ABD again, trying to use it so I can bronze my face, y'all. Let's see. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town. That is not my forte. Me and lashes, mm -mm, we don't mesh well. We're like oil and water. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be using the INV 3D Collection. Um, this one is the multi-angle and volume lightweight lashes. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. And the funny part is, you guys, I'm gonna be using these ordinary catheter um, packets. Um, th well, these used to be, we used to have them, but no longer. That's why I said, you guys, these are old stuff because this is what you would use to actually pick up, you know, um, the cotton balls and this, that, and the third for sterile techniques. So yes, <laughs> I'm going to try to put these, um, hopefully I can put the lashes with these on. Being recorded. Huh? All right, you guys, here I go. <laughs> they, you know, they say, look down. Oh shoot, now I'm gonna do the rest with my finger cause this right here. I did it with thongs you guys, I did it, I did it, I did it. Initially, okay, this is not easy people, especially for someone that don't know how to put lashes, okay? This is not easy. I completed the first I hope Kate has completed the first makeup application challenge with medical supplies. This right here, like I said, first and foremost, I can't put eyelashes, okay, on my own with my two fingers, even with tweezers. So using this thong from, like I said, it's from a, um, it's from a catheter, a urinary catheter kit. Yo, this was so difficult, but it was so exciting it was so much fun you guys k did it from three north tower k did it cardiac nurse did it k pcc you and i'm representing for the nurses out there i'm representing for you guys so how does it look how does it look you guys how does it look you know honestly i mean truthfully like this was very challenging but it could be done um, I just went and, you know, did my, my mouth and all whatever. It's nothing, nothing big. Nothing. Tell me if you guys like this so I can continue doing these challenges. I'm so excited. I'm representing for our nurses. I'm representing for our healthcare, our PCAs, our healthcare providers. Pass this. Let this um, video go viral. Represent your nurse. 
All the nurses represent. Let this video go viral. I actually put makeup with medical utensils. ABD pads. I put makeup with gauze. I put makeup Q-tips, okay? Not your regular Q-tips, okay? I put makeup with this. I actually applied makeup with medical supplies. Your girl did it first here on this channel. Yes, on Kay's channel, your girl did it first. So please give the credit. All you nurses out there, all you LPNs out there, I challenge you to put on your makeup with medical supplies that you already have, okay? Please. Yes, I encourage you. All right, cause let me tell you, this right here, like this, <laughs> this was from nursing school. <laughs> And I still have stuff in here. This is stuff from nursing school. Look at these old, old, old stuff. Like, I still have them. You know, Deidre, Dakota. Y'all know. Look, look at you guys. Old stuff that we don't use anymore. This was my medical box in nursing school. As you can see, I have tubings in here. Yes, this was my medical box in nursing school. So, no. I did not steal it, okay? <laughs> I actually I actually had these items, you guys. Look at look at look at this. What is this? A second oh my gosh. This is a, a a secondary a piggyback. This is a piggyback primer for tubing. Look how old they are. Like they just they're discolored. You have when you hang IVs, these are IV lines and Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to use this. We don't even use this. So I, I couldn't even tell you how to use this, the secondary. Um, I started nursing in 2013. I work on a car telemetry floor, cardiac floor. So I take care of patients with cardiac issues. But as we all know, and those who are watching, my colleagues, you know, Three North Tower. Yes, Three North Tower. And all my friends who are nurses, Coda, you know, you know, Deidre, all my friends who are nurses. My sister, okay, who's a nurse too? My sister's a nurse. So yeah, you guys know that um for the three north towers no matter what like if you're a cardiac nurse we get all types of patients that's the benefits of working on a telemetry floor or cardiac a real cardiac floor that's the benefits of working on a cardiac floor because if you know we do have specialties okay so if you're mother baby and mom's pregnant but have cardiac issues guess what she's going to come on my floor if patient b has a stroke and then goes into rapid afib which is a uh, dysrhythmia of the heart then guess what they come on my floor so yeah we get all types of patients and then we have our patients with chest pains who develop who have um coronary artery disease and then they have to have bypass surgery, cardiac surgery. Some of those, some of those who have something called bradycardia, which is basically a slow rate of um, the heart um, that's lower than 50, then those patients, um, for the most part, if they're symptomatic, then they get a pacemaker. So, you guys, I had to do this for nursing week. I am a proud nurse. I love what I do. I work with people that love, absolutely love my Shireen's, my Three North Tower clique, you know, Elvina, all of you guys, like Tasha, you guys, you know, even my friends that, you know, work in different areas of nursing. Like I said, Dakota, Mother Baby, Deidre, shout out to you guys, my sister who works in the jail system. Shout out to everybody over at Broward Health, um, all the other hospitals, and a shout out to all you nurses that are out there, you healthcare providers, LPNs, um, PCAs, shout out to you guys for being heroes. You guys out there, um, please always, even after this is all, all done, please appreciate the people that take care of you in the hospitals um, because we can't keep the nurses there. We can't keep the PCAs there because that's the toughest area of, of healthcare when you're working at bedside. We can't keep them there, the floors, you know. Um, we appreciate your thank yous, a simple thank you. And again, the reason why, you know, my channel, I started my channel is to basically give back, okay? To just say simply thank you. And as I mentioned before, you guys have to go watch the, you know, the other, um, my first, um, my first video. Yes, it's, it's totally different from this one. However, I explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. So right now, you guys, I'm trying to raise some money and to 
to to gift you know nurses um and just say simply thank you i don't have to know the nurse and you guys who know nurses um out there um from different states um please you're welcome to to dm me i have my email and my ig um in the description box you guys can email information and give me a br brief little you know synopsis of why you think um this nurse lpn um even a pca is deserving of you know to be gift and say thank you okay they didn't ask for it we're not saying that you're asking for it but we appreciate when we do things and you just simply say a thank you because we don't get that often unfortunately this is the most we have been getting um, because of this whole um, pandemic where people are appreciating us it's all over social media you know everywhere you go there's actual signs saying thank you and all the incentives this should have been done way before that before all this situation you know there are great and amazing nurses out there and pcas healthcare providers and doctors and i'm only speaking up for the ones that actually do what they're supposed to do at the end of the day like i said when you're a patient you're on my floor and i have you as a patient i consider you family and i'm gonna take you take care of you as such okay i don't care if you like me or not but i'm gonna treat you like family because it could be me it could be my own family. It could be my close friends that's going to be in that bed. So always remember, the hospitals will always be open. We're always going to get sick, unfortunately. So guess what? We have to take care of you. All right? We have to take care of you. So regardless of this pandemic, please just show your appreciation. We appreciate the thank yous. It means so much to us. Wives, to the girlfriends, to the boyfriends to the fathers, to the mothers, you know, the sisters, you know, um, thank you. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you back here. Y'all better come back here. Hey, go check out the videos. Go, go represent, go, go check out, go, go check out the videos.